Hey everybody, Lord Fuzzles here, and welcome back to Spooky Sets of Jump Scares. Uh, we're going to be going room 400 to 500, and so this is my second time recording this because after getting through a couple rooms, I realized that part of the screen was cut off. So we're going through, we're redoing it. I didn't get very far though, I got to like room 405, I think, and then, then I realized hey, wait a minute, my health bar's cut off. So we're doing this again. So, how is everybody doing? I know you can't respond immediately, but you can respond in the comments. Hope you all are doing great. I'm doing pretty good. I have a couple different topics to talk about today once we get the chance, but first let's get a little bit into the... Oh, hey, there's already noises. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll get right into the first topic that I want to talk about before I forget about it, because I don't want to forget about it. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a serious topic for me. I don't... Not you again, no. Never mind, I guess we're going to wait on the serious topic because he doesn't want to hear about the serious topic. He's like, no, I just want to eat your face off of your face today, okay? No, fatty, you've had too much face today, you're done. Seriously, for real, can you not eat my face? Just for realsies. Oh, what the? Well, hello there. Are you lost, little one? Uh, little one? You're the tiny little fucking cat thing. Okay, but seriously, though. Um... Oh. Well, this is weird. Your compass is pointing at me and it's kind of rude. Are you going to talk to me anymore? Are you going to say any more words? Two sides of oh. the same coin. Knowing your projections can help you achieve freedom. Okay, knowing my projections can help you achieve freedom. Two nope, sides don't. Don't want to hear you say that again. Coin. What do you have to say? Nothing? Okay. Put E on this clock. Nope. Okay, well, let's go in here then. Oh, hello again, kitty friend. The mask you wear serves its purpose well, but be careful not to lose yourself in it. Be part of something. Be who you are to others. Put on your mask. Follow the group. Put on your mask. Follow the group. Okay, that, that got creepy. Nope, 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 nope. That got creepy. Okay. Actually, that kind of helps lead into the topic I was about to talk about, uh, which is. Let's talk to this person. Okay, it's kind of like balance is key to keeping your mind free and sane. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now, the topic I was going to talk about was depression. So I know that some people get depressed. Depression's a thing. It's not really avoidable. Oh god, that's that's lost strawberry jam. Um. Hi, kitty. Knowing your shadow can greatly help you, but be ready to see what you'd rather not be. Okay. Anyway, yeah, back to what we're talking about. Uh, depression is a thing. Uh, I know that it's kind of one of those weird issues where some people don't believe it's really an issue. To me, it is. And this is my my. This is gonna be pretty much all I say about it. Regardless of whether you think somebody's depressed or not, check in on them every now and then. See how they're doing. Just see if they're, if they're doing okay. Because for all you know, somebody can be happy on the outside and miserable on the inside. Uh, and this isn't a, a comment on anything about me or myself. I'm actually in a pretty good place right now. Uh, it's just a thing of, I've seen it ruin many a good person. So, uh, just my little PSA for today is look out for it. Keep, keep an eye on it. Because I've, I've, I've been there. I've been depressed. Uh, I've, I know people who have been depressed. It's not a fun place to be in. Uh, it just really isn't. Uh, and it's not something that's just like, oh, get over it. It's something that you kind of do need a hand through. So, that's my that's my PSA for today, is if you see something, or even if you don't see something, just check in with your friend. Be like, hey, how are you doing? How are you, like, you as a person doing that? How's your life going? How are you feeling in society today? That kind of thing. So, that's my little PSA for today. And the serious topic that I'm talking about today. Um, so... Which is something I wanted to get off my chest because I've been hearing a lot about it lately. Uh, I've had a couple people come to me saying, hey, I'm, I've got a bit of depression going on in my life. I've got this issue, this issue, and this issue. Uh, and it's one of those things where, yeah, it, that was fucking, I got right up in the thing's face. Um, it's, it's one of those issues that, yeah, it it's very hard to overcome sometimes, but uh, you can get through it. It just takes, takes a, a helping hand. So, uh, and that's one of the things too, is if, uh, if you feel like you don't have that helping hand, feel free to reach out to me or, or anybody, really. I'm sure there's people out there who 
who are who are cool with helping. And I know that Markiplier, who's one of the people I follow, he's really big about depression. Where he he doesn't like it either. He he wants people to look out for it. But no, for, like for real. If, if if you got nobody to talk to, feel like you got nobody to talk to. Fuck you, stupid scouts. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to open my art to people here, and you're just being a dick. But anyway, uh, no, for real. Uh, if if for any reason you you don't or if you don't feel comfortable talking to somebody else about it. I am completely fine with, with talking through it. Um, yeah. So I'm here if you need if you need a helping hand. Uh, this doesn't seem very. This doesn't seem. Uh oh, is there a doorway? Yeah, there's sweet. Okay. I'm always afraid of the long hallway. I'm afraid it's gonna be like some weird illusion where some weird. Oh nope! I heard that. 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 Oh, that's one thing too is uh, I, even if it's not about a depression related issue, if you just want to message me to, for assistance on anything, really, I am super approachable. Like I really, I'm not gonna tell you, huh, oh, what a loser you, you thought you could talk to me. I'm not that big headed, and I don't think I ever will be, honestly. Um, so feel free to message me if it, if it can be anything. Be like, hey, what equipment do you use, or uh, how do you do? What you do, which I mean, granted, my stuff's not as great compared to most people, but I, I think I do well. Hello, chandelier. Yeah. I'm always, I'm always looking to help. I think it's one of those like pay it forward things. If, if you help somebody, then they'll help somebody, and. So on and so forth, cycle continues. Ooh, fucking skeleton! Why are you always interrupting me like a dick? Uh, okay, fuck you, little ghosty bitch. Yeah, that's scary. Skeleton's scarier than you. But yeah, so. One of the things I'm gonna start doing too, and this is just an idea that I came up with the other day. God damn it! Why do you people keep interrupting me? So this is an idea I came up with the other day. Um, so for Twitch and stuff like that, I do a lot of things where I play with the community. I, I play with my viewers, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm thinking about doing that and recording it for YouTube. Uh, a thing where we just, I pick some day out of the out of the week, pick a game, pick a time, we all play it together, get your friends involved, that kind of stuff, and just have a fun time with it. And then record it, put it on YouTube, and that way we can always cherish it forever. But no, that's one of the ideas I had. Um, it's just like kind of like a, a like a game night kind of thing, where we just all get together play a game. So if you guys want to do something like that, uh, send me some game ideas. Uh, I've already got a couple that uh, one of my viewers from both Twitch and here has given me, which is War Thunder or uh, or World of Tanks, which I like both of those games. They're both very fun. The only thing that would be difficult is figuring out whether to do it on PC or Xbox. I'll probably do one of each since I have it on both. Uh, but yeah. So if you have any suggestions like that, anything that you think would be cool to do for that, let me know. Because I, I would love to do something like that. Uh, it could be anything. It could be a Halo, Call of Duty, uh, Gotham City Imposters, one of my favorite games. Uh, that one. That's a free game. It's, it's a great game. Uh, but yeah, even something like that. I'm, I'm cool with it. I, I, I just want to come with ideas here. I want your input. I want to know what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, another thing too is if anybody does watch my Twitch, you've probably seen a familiar name, Cuckoo Cthulhu. Uh, I just want to clear up who that is real fast uh, before any rumors start spreading. That is my sister. Uh, she's my older sister. We live together, uh, and that's part of, part of why sometimes when I'm streaming and she's streaming, it gets wonky. But no, that's my sister. So. Uh, I do. I do. However, I am or I am in a relationship. Uh, I don't care to get too much into detail on that because I, I don't want to embarrass that person. Not, not saying that it would embarrass her, but uh, it's just one of those things where I don't really want to air that kind of stuff out there. But uh, no, that is Cuckoo Cthulhu is my sister. Yeah. So, but check her out. She's fucking awesome. I don't think she does anything for YouTube yet. Pretty much just Twitch only. Oh god, what oh, computer again? Can I look any more into this? Here it was all these specimens. Yeah, I already talked to him. He's an asshole. Uh, yeah, I've talked to him already. Uh, that one I've not seen yet, I don't think. Oh no, I did! She was in the school! 
Spider, I hate the spider. What else do we got here? So it's been seven. Oh, I've seen that one before too. No, no, I don't want to look at that. I already looked at that one. Other specimens. Let's see, we've got specimen eight. I have not seen that guy. Appeared in chest chamber a few years ago after it was filled with what was believed to lust. Oh, just. That's a weird J. Be unusually violent deer. This specimen seems to engulf subjects and absorb them into its torso region. Proved extremely effective on violent subjects. Okay, that's interesting. I don't want to press that one because that one seems scary. What the fuck? Okay, this is glitching out now. I'm afraid I'm going to get killed here. Okay, we're going to hit specimen. Blah, blah, blah. A floating red figure that was found inside a secret area below a large abandoned corporate office once owned by a restaurant franchise. The specimen is extremely violent and also seems to leave the house at will despite various containment methods. Victims vanish on contact with specimen, but sometimes remains of the victims have been found inside the testing chamber days later. Proved not effective as victim souls do not remain after contact. So from what I'm gathering is Spooky built this house to gather souls. Wait, that's not what was subject 10. One second, let's go back to this. Specimen 10 was not that earlier. A form-changing creature that is believed to be an extraterrestrial, though it is not officially proven. Proved very effective on most subjects, but deemed too difficult to contain. The specimen broke out of its containment area due to frequent electrical malfunctions. So it might have something to do with electromagnetic activity. Let's check this one. Okay, I can't. Okay. Can we edit the house layout yet? Probably not. Fuck. Okay, whatever. Let's back out. And turn around slowly. Okay. Let's go. Okay, room 90. 90. Okay, well, forward, right. Right, nope. Nope, no, no, forward. Right. Left, nope. Nope. Forward. Right. Forward. Forward? Nope. Damn. Forward. Right. Right, nope. Forward. Right. Forward. Right. Nope. Forward, right, forward, left. There we go. I'm trying to think of anything I've forgotten that I want to talk about today. Um, I don't think so. I think I got everything out. Hello? 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 Yes. Hello? Hello? Oh, really? A Freddy, Hello? A Freddy Fazbear's reference? Hello. Okay, I'm just gonna move on now. Hello. <sighs> okay. Ooh, fudge, bud, fucker. Ah, you dick face. So we're four rooms away. I still can't think of anything else I want to talk about today. That's pretty much about it, real realistically. Um. Yeah, I just wanted to get those couple things out of the way, because... Oh, shit. Uh... Well, here you are. Alive and still here. You just keep on going, don't you? Yeah. Well, the next door has been fixed up for you. So enjoy, and keep moving on. You little fleshy live one. Well, that doesn't seem very... Very not suspicious at all. Like that? Nothing's wrong there. But anywho, we'll have to figure out what she meant by that in the next episode. A lot of weird claw marks there. So, hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, I'm sorry if any of this information got a little preachy or weird. I just wanted to get a couple things off my chest. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see anything else that I've done, check the annotations for more content from me. Hit that subscribe button if you want to keep following me in the future. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. But for now, peace. <laughs>